Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing a one year review of the faded hardtop registration on our Jeep JK. Alright, so if you guys remember a year ago when we first restored the faded hardtop on the Jeep JK, it came up an absolute trick. So I thought I'd do a one year update video for you guys to see if it's actually worth it, how long, how well it's actually lasted, and if it's actually worth the money doing it this way, or actually respraying it in Reptiliner or something else. So as you guys can see, it's still looking very sharp. It has faded in a few small spots around where like, the windows are, where I haven't really gone too deep inside it, and especially on the hard top, like on the very, very top of the roof itself. As you can see, it's faded a little bit just because we're in direct sunlight living in Australia. You can see a few spots where it started to fade just a little bit. You can see a few streaks coming through from the hard top and around the windows, um, like I said before. Now, the cost of that is you remember a year ago, we used the Bowden's own Mr. Black black box. Now, we used the same stuff on the fenders as well, and we still got lots left. So, we did the entire hard top, freedom panels, everything like that, with the black box, which was $87 of everything included. Um, as I said, we did the fenders as well. So it definitely did a massive coating. We still got a lot left to go over and do another coat of the hard tub if we want to. Now with $87, it's definitely a lot cheaper than doing a full reef spray um, on your roof. A lot of people go wrap the line and stuff like that. Now the stuff I was using isn't made for hard tops. This is like a fiberglass hard top with some other stuff inside it as well. Um, where it's supposed to be for plastic fenders. Uh, it wasn't made for hard tops. It's, it was a kind of a gamble doing it so we gave it a go um, and over the last year I've been so impressed with how the well how well it's actually held it up how well it's actually held up not held it up how well it's actually held up over the year um, it still looks really well a few um, spots in it you can see probably where it's been uh, running it a little bit um, compared to painting it it's definitely a lot cheaper um, it's a lot faster painting it will take time you have to remove the whole hard top mask and thing on stuff like that so it's definitely a lot faster and definitely a lot cheaper. Uh, would I do it again? I probably would use Bowden's own Mr. Black again on the hard top. As I said, it's just a lot faster, a lot cheaper. Um, and I prefer the result. It looks a bit more factory rather than going to like a Raptor liner, which might be either a glossy finish or a very matte finish. I think this, the Bowden's own black box has a really uh, natural or factory finish, if you like, to the uh, hard top. It's definitely worth the $87. Um, as you can see in a few spots, it has faded, um, but all in all, over the last year, I'm pretty impressed with the way it's held up. As you guys can see, um, it's a little bit faded on the top, as I said before. It hasn't, a lot of people have asked how long the drying process is. Uh, I remember a year ago, I think it was two, two days without being wet. Um, if you do let it uh, get wet, it will run a little bit, so keep that in mind. A lot of people do ask, does it run and stuff like that? As long as you let it dry, it's going to soak into the fiberglass just fine. It's going to hold up just like the paint will, um, and it looks very good as well. So I'm really impressed with it. Um, so I'll give it, I'll give it a solid probably nine out of ten, um, just because it's losing a point. Just because it's not actually made for the hard tops. You guys might run into a few um, different issues depending if you live in a colder climate or not. It's it's so hot here. It's probably it probably dried really, really fast, but solid um, effort from Bowden Zone, Mr. Black Box, considering it's not actually made for the hardtop itself. But it's lasted really well. A uh, few little spots I probably could go over and touch up if I really wanted to, but there's no sticky finish, there's no nothing like that. It's held up so well. I'd probably do this 10 times over painting it, um, just for the effort of painting it, having the mask and the thing off, stuff like that. It's more of an effort and it's going to cost more money after you do primer sealer top coat and everything like that i think this is a much cheaper and faster i'll leave a little link down below if you guys want to check this product out from balance own uh, it's a fantastic product and with 87 dollars it's worth every single cent uh, to restore your faded hardtop so link down below if you haven't already smash that like button um, if you haven't already as well smash that subscribe button as well and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time